on such a freezing morning. <laughs> I know that uh, we're missing about half the group, so I appreciate it. Um, as Gail said, I grew up here in Dublin. I'm a Cochrane graduate, uh, but I currently work in Monrovia, Liberia, with an organization called More Than Me. Uh, and I joined them six months ago as a fellow working on their uh, grants, doing fundraising support for them, and also teaching part-time. Uh, so I came here today to share a bit more about Liberia, uh, its history and where it is today, and also about more than means work. So if you take a look at our screen here, uh, this is Liberia. As a quick history in Info 101, uh, Liberia is about the size of Ohio, actually. It's located in West Africa. And bordered by Sierra Leone, Guinea, and Cote d'Ivoire. Um, has about three and a half million people, about a million of whom live in Monrovia, the state up there on the coast, uh, the capital. And Monrovia and Liberia probably sound, possibly sound a little familiar for a couple of reasons. Uh, the first would be its founding, um, as was alluded to. Um, Liberia was historically ruled by an association of different tribal groups, but the country as it currently is was founded in the mid-1800s by three American slaves who were repatriated back into Liberia and also into Sierra Leone by the American Colonization Society. Uh, and these former slaves who came into the country basically colonized just as uh, the U.S. was settled or any of the other African countries were colonized by French or British. Um, they came in and basically pushed out the tribal groups that were there and uh, took control of the country. And this group is called the American Liberian. Um, they're a minority of the country's population still today, but they've become the elite of the country. Uh, they're the best educated, um, the wealthiest, uh, and the most powerful group um, and have basically governed since that time. The other uh, thing Liberia is most famous for is its two decades of civil war. Um, again, this may be one of the reasons you're familiar with it. Uh, up until 1980, the country was ruled by a succession of presidents who came from the American Liberians, again, those descendants of those free American slaves. Uh, but in 1980, there was a military coup that overthrew the government, led by Samuel Doe. And uh, primarily because the country had such inequity between this upper class group and the rest of the population. So that led to a decade of authoritarian rule and various um, minor conflicts. And in 1989, there was another uprising when Charles Taylor overthrew Samuel Doe. Another thing that may sound familiar. Uh, there was a brief period of peace then, and then in 1997, elections that brought Charles Taylor to official power as President Taylor, but fighting broke out again in 2000 to 2003. Um, Charles Taylor was, of course, later brought to justice at The Hague for war crimes in Sierra Leone, whose civil war he also supported. Um, but he was a major figure in this war in Liberia. Um, what is difficult to characterize about both of these periods of conflict is how brutal this war was in the country. Liberians actually refer to these two periods as the world wars uh, because it was so total throughout the country. Um, use of child soldiers was widespread on both sides. Um, there was vast uh, mistreatment of the civilian population. Rape was extremely widespread. Um, torture of civilians was encouraged. It was essentially total chaos. And that period did eventually end in 2003. Um, forces within the country calling for peace and some external um, encouragement of that led to um, a peace treaty between the groups and in the 2005 election of President Alan Johnson served, uh, who was reelected and is still currently serving um, as president. That's her. In the bottom photo, the upper photo is uh, women, I can't remember that, the full name, uh, but it was a women's group that called for peace, um, including Lima Bowie, who along with President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf is a Nobel Prize winner for their efforts to reestablish peace in the country.